Hello, students and fellow researchers. I am going to discuss research designs focusing on quasi-experimental designs and their applicable statistical analysis tools. A quasi-experimental design is one that consists of an experimental group and a control group, but lacks an essential element of a true experimental design, especially the random selection of the samples. There are four types of quasi-experimental designs. The first one is the pre-test, post-test control group design. This is one that consists of a control non-probability sample or group and an experimental non-probability sample or group arranged in such a way that both groups shall be administered a test or observed for measurement prior to the application of the treatment to the experimental group which we call pretest and tested again after the administration of the treatment to the latter which we call post test this is the plan for the pretest post test control group design OPR x OPO, where OPR is pretreatment observation or test, X is the treatment, and OPO is the post treatment observation or test. The second is the post test only control group design, also called non equivalent control group design. This is a plan that consists of a controlled non probability sample of group and an experimental non-probability sample or group tested after the administration of the treatment to the latter. This is the plan for the post-test only control group design, XOPO, where X is the treatment and OPO is the post-treatment observation or post. The third is that time series design which is one that includes periodic or time series pretests and periodic post tests where the treatment is introduced by the researcher shown is the plan for the time series design and the fourth is the interrupted time series design which is one that includes periodic or time series pretests and periodic post tests where the treatment is a naturally occurring incident. Shown is the plan for the interrupted time series design. This is the illustrative example for pretest post test control group design. Professor Anonai intends to find out if the module she developed could help improve the performance of her students in research methods. She purposively selected 10 students whom she intended to give a module each and 10 students whom she will not give a module. Prior to the giving of the module, she administered a test to the two groups. She later gave the modules for use by students 1 to 10 and did not give any module to students 11 to 20. She made arrangements and situations such that all the other factors that could affect student performance are controlled. After sufficient time passed, she again administered a test to the two groups. The pretest and post test performances of the two groups are presented in the preceding table. From these design and results, it will be possible for us to find out if there is a difference between the performances of the experimental and control groups before the treatment. The experimental and control groups after the treatment. The experimental group before the treatment and the experimental group after the treatment. And the control group before the treatment and the control group after the treatment.
be applicable statistical tools to professors to professor anonymized study situation are presented in the following table. You see, only arithmetic mean and difference will be used. No test of significance can be used because the samples are non-probability. The Excel solutions for the specified statistical analysis tools are presented in the proceeding table. This is the illustrative example for post-test only control group design or non-equivalent control group design. Professor Anonai intends to find out if the modules she developed could help improve the performance of her students in research methods. She possibly selected 10 students whom she provided a module each and 10 students whom she did not give a module. After some time, she administered a test to both groups, the results of which are given in the following table. The applicable statistical analysis tools here are arithmetic mean and difference. The solutions for the specified tools above are shown in the proceeding Excel sheet. This is the illustrative example for time series design. Professor Kolafa intends to find out if the module she developed could help improve the performance of her students in research methods. She purposely selected five students whom she intended to give a module each and five students whom she will not give a module. Prior to the giving of the module, she administered a four-day series of 25-point tests to the two groups. She later gave the modules for use by students 1 to 5 and did not give any module to students 6 to 10. She made arrangements and situations such that all the other factors that could affect a student performance are controlled. After a sufficient time passed, she again administered a four-day series of tests to the group. The pre-test and post-test performances of the two groups are presented in the proceeding table. The applicable statistical analysis tools here are arithmetic mean and difference and possibly regression. The solutions for the specified tools above are shown in the proceeding Excel sheet. This is the illustrative example for interrupted time series design. Professor Quato intends to find out if typhoons could help increase donations by donors to his civic organization. He possibly selected 10 donors prior to any typhoon, five of whom he intended to inform of the occurrence and five of whom would not be informed about it. Prior to any typhoon, he solicited donations from the 10 donors. He solicited for four consecutive days from the two groups. After a typhoon occurred, he again, he again conducted a four-day solicitation drive to the two groups. The pre-test and post-test donations of the two groups are presented in the proceeding table. The applicable statistical analysis tools here are arithmetic mean and difference and also possibly regression. 
The solutions for the specified tools above are shown in the proceeding Excel sheet. Students and fellow researchers, I hope you gain some additional information about quasi-experimental designs. Thank you for viewing and listening.